What is the 80-20 towing rule when it comes to towing an RV or a camper? Well, that's what we're talking about today and it's pretty important stuff, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me here today. There are tons of rules when it comes to RV life. The 222 rule, 333 rule, the 10 year rule, uh, it goes on and on. Rules, rules. But the 80-20 rule is a rule about towing that you might not have heard of before. So let's dig in to what that is. What is the 80-20 rule? It's very simple off the top. Here's the deal. The 80-20 towing rule is a safety measure many RVers follow and basically the rule states you shouldn't tow above 80% of your max towing capacity. This gives room for human error and calculation. It also protects the life of the vehicle by not pushing it to the max every time you tow a trailer. This is why it's so important. And please take note, if you bring anything away from this video, have it be this. Towing puts a lot of stress on your truck. Even if it's a Ram 3500 dually, towing can shorten the life of a truck and put more wear and tear on it. In order to protect the brake system, the suspension system, and any other important components of your vehicle, towing 80% of the max capacity is a good rule of thumb. You're going to be facing steep inclines and steep declines whenever you're on the road traveling across the country. Those inclines, you're gonna be pushing that transmission harder. And on those declines, you're really going to be pushing those brakes. Or if you use the engine brake, again, you're gonna be working that transmission. There are a few terms that really fall under the blanket of this 80-20 rule that you should really know. And the first one is dry trailer weight or UVW. The dry trailer weight or unloaded vehicle weight is the weight of your trailer empty. This means with nothing in it, not a person, not clothes, not water, not a single thing. The number is determined at the manufacturing plant before the trailer is shipped to the dealer. The UVW really doesn't matter once you purchase a trailer, you'll never tow an empty trailer. It's just the absolute lightest it could weigh if everything was empty. A little bit more important is the GVWR. This is the gross vehicle weight rating, and it is very important, and it is something that should definitely be considered and looked at whenever you're purchasing an RV, camper, or a tow vehicle. This is the maximum weight of the trailer with all cargo. You can find the UVW or the GVWR on a sticker on the passenger side of the RV, usually towards the front. And last, let me talk about the difference between towing capacity and payload capacity. So towing capacity is how much weight your vehicle can pull, but payload capacity is how much weight your vehicle can haul. Both numbers matter. Think about it this way. You're not hauling all of the weight of the fifth wheel with the truck. The fifth wheel is holding some of that weight as well with its axles and its tires. The weight you're hauling from the fifth wheel is that of which the tongue sets inside of the truck bed. So that is going to be what you're considering when you're talking about payload capacity. How much weight from the fifth wheel tongue is going in the bed of that truck? That will affect the payload, not the towing capacity. You're confusing me. Also to be affected with the payload capacity is how much stuff you carry around in the bed of your truck. I know it can be complicating sometimes, but there is a big difference between the towing capacity, that which the truck can tow, and the payload capacity, the amount of weight the truck can actually handle hauling. So it's never a simple solution, even with the 80-20 rule. That rule will give you a good baseline to start from, a little safety room on the top, but you're always gonna wanna dive deeper into all the numbers associated with towing a trailer, specifically the payload capacity. It's a really big one that people often overlook. So keep all of that in mind as you decide what will be the best combination for your RV travels. Hope this video helped. If there are any other towing rules that you use for safety, put those down in the comments section. I'd love to learn more about how y'all stay safe towing out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Later on.